Hi, I'm Dr. Adam Fields. I'm so happy you're here. Let's help that eye strain you have. Let's get the tech out of your eyes. Go ahead, we're gonna start with pinching your eyebrows and just rolling them a bit. Let's get some circulation in those eyes. Just roll, just grab and pinch and roll. There's something called skin rolling. It's so wonderful, you can do it all over your body. It's great for your myofascia. And the eyebrows are really overlooked and so we're not gonna overlook them. Just keep moving, go to the lateral parts of your eyebrows and just kind of roll. Roll, roll, roll your eyebrows. Let's do it. Let's feel better. Good, might have a little headache here. Just gauge it after the video is over and see how you're doing. Just roll, kneading, kneading those eyebrows. Good, let's go right to the center of the eyebrows now. Right, actually the center end of them right there and take your fingers and give me some circular motions. Beautiful, just circular motions right here. There's some acupuncture points we're using here. This is one is called gathering bamboo. But we're gathering in some relaxation. Now roll the other direction, just nice circular motions. Keep the rest of your face relaxed. Let it go, let it kind of exhale and have a nice countenance on it of happiness and relaxation and bye bye tech. Okay, we're gonna go below the eye, above the orbital ridge, but right there actually, maybe even right on the bone below the eyeball and just move back and forth, just like this. Just back and forth. Ooh, a little tenderness. If you find tenderness, it's something to go after. It's something like, oh yeah, that's the one. I need to go after that. And just rub it. Circular motions, both directions. Don't be afraid to go around your eyeball into your extraocular muscles. There's nothing wrong with working that area. If something doesn't feel right though, just stop. It's super simple. Okay, we're gonna roll our eyes in a circle. Find that full range of motion and let's start going clockwise. Full circles. Find an area that you go, oh, that needs a little more pressure up there. Sometimes some of those ranges of motion you won't have as much access to. Let's give them access. Let's give your eyes access. Really arcing up and over, up and over. Good. Here we go. Let's go the other direction. All the way around. Keep going around that's it keep going big huge circles we do controlled articular rotations with the neck hey why not do them with the eyes keep your head totally still though and keep circling let's do a couple more go nice and slow no need to rush good okay let's pump give me some heat with those hands come on Ooh, get it going get those hands moving and go right on over your eyeballs. Good. Let's give a break from light. Bathe your eyes in some darkness, right? Sometimes even when you go to sleep, you wanna make sure any little LED light, any little plug is just turned out. No light when you go to sleep. Good. Let's go ahead and we're gonna go up to your hairline and we're gonna get it right in the center, right about an inch back and we're gonna rub a point there. It's another acupuncture point, it's called GV23. Find some tenderness in there. It gives you, give me some circular motions there. Good. Isn't it amazing how you have this remote control spots in your body that control other parts and help things function? I mean, reflexology on your head, on your feet. I mean, who knows where the next map will show up. Even the ear correlates to different parts of the body. Good, just rub that in there. Get your other hand in there just to participate. Let that, let that forehead relax so you can just get in deep. Good. And move the skin around on your head. Move it over your skull. Move it, move it. I like to move it. Here we go. Okay, now I'm, I'm gonna use my right thumb. You're gonna use your left thumb and get out there and just stare at that thumb, right? Right at the full distance of your hand, good. And look and see the wrinkles on your knuckle and then bring your finger in, bring your thumb in close all the way. Keep pulling it in, pulling it in right in between your eyes and really focus in on it. Feel it, feel that muscle just contract and then bring it back. Good, and bring that thumb away from you. Make sure you're focusing and bring it closer to you. Just keep going. 
This is tromboning. We're playing the trombone. Keep a good posture though. Keep breathing in and out of your nose. Let the shoulders relax and let those eyes do the work on this. Pull it in, focus, focus. Really get that focus in and bringing it back. Good. Bringing it back all the way. And all the way out. Good, all the way towards it. Really focus in. See just the little wrinkles on your thumb. Pull it in, good. Feel that flex and bring it back. Let's do a couple more. Bring it back, flexion, flexion. That's what happens, you stare at a screen all day and that muscle doesn't get a chance to move. The ciliary body with its muscles need to be exercised just like any other muscle. Good, let's do a little palming again. You think about it in nature, you walk in the woods, you're kind of you're using your visual cortex, you're using that muscle, looking at trees and boom, back into the path and then up at the sky and good. Just rub that and claw in, just move in circles with your palms. Good. Move in the other direction. Good, we're gonna go to another point. Shake your arms out a little bit. Let's see those thumbs. We're gonna go right up underneath your orbital ridge right there and pushing up like this. Good, pushing in and up. Good, this is called drilling bamboo. Now, while we're doing this, relax the shoulders, the chest rises up. Good, don't let that chest come forward, good. And then we're gonna do rainbow eye rolls. So it's just up and around like a rainbow. The eyes come up and to the side, up and to the side, keep going. As you push here, ooh, I love it. Exercise, we're doing aerobics for the eyes. Good, it's something we have to do to make up for all this screen time. There we go, let's do five, there you go. Four, three, two, and one. Good, let's do a little stretch, a little 45 degree stretch. Take your left hand, grab your head, and pull it 45 degrees. Good, so this is, if you tuck your chin, you're gonna work that suboccipital a little bit, right where your neck meets your head. That's, you know, you, in, the, in the occipital muscle right there, you do a little visual image processing, and we wanna keep that open, flowing, and doing fantastic. So go ahead and just tuck and pull. It's the tuck and pull. Good, let's go to the other side. Grab your right hand, pull it at 45 degrees, and just pull. And breathe right into that, breathe into that stretch. Let breath guide your stretches. Good, now we're just gonna take our fingers, and just rub on that area. Just rub right on that suboccipital. 99% of you have a little soreness back there. Work it. Good, just side to side. And go up a little bit higher into the occipital bone, into your hair, and just work right up in there. And let's do a couple occipital lifts. It's my favorite exercise. Take the knuckle right here at the base of your thumb, right to your mastoid process behind your ear, and just hook right under that shelf and hook with the other side, and I want you to laterally flex your head as you push your head up with the one hand, and then the lower hand is pulling down. And let's keep going. So you're pushing and pulling, creating a little torque in there, and lifting actually the temporal bone, which connected to the occipital bone. We'll head to the occipitals in a second. Just keep going back and forth. You might find one area is a little bit tighter than the other, and just push that a little bit more. My left side feels like it needs a little more attention. Okay, now more of a 45 degree angle and bring the hand a little bit further back on the occipitals and lift, lift, lift. There you go. Good, enjoy this one. You might just find that occipital and ocular soreness, that ocular headache just starts to melt with this. Okay, come up. We're gonna do some side line, side sidelong glances, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go extremely to one side, 
focus in on an object and then we're going to go back to the to the other direction and focus in on the object i'm going to start to the left you start to the right so keep your head totally straight and look as far as you can to the left and focus on something and then back over to the right and then to the left good really push into that end range motion it's like a pilates class for the eyes Pilates, push it. There you go. Ah, push it, go for it. Get that eye moving. Good, palms are facing forward, chest is up, posture is good, keep working it. Hard, really hard. If you have to take a couple of seconds in that extreme range of motion, turning your head a little, I mean not turning your head, turning your eyes left and right. Good, now I want you to take your, your pointer fingers put on the side of your head and then you're going to take your pinkies and you're going to go right in between your eye and your superorbital ridge. Just push them right in there. Good. If this doesn't feel right, if you feel whatever in any way, just stop. So you might see a little like light flashing, you might see a little redness. Just really relax in there. You're going to feel a little pain in there. And let's take some deep breaths in through your nostrils and let's see if we can get this to go. You know, you can have trigger points in your extraocular muscles. So let's just breathe in through that nose and just hold those pinkies right there. And let's get this to dissolve. Beautiful. Keep going. See if we can let it go. Sometimes people feel this radiate into their face, their head, pull the shoulders down. Let's get those shoulders away from your ears. Good, you start to feel it relax a little bit now. Maybe like, am I pushing as hard? Take your arms down, open your eyes. Let's go ahead and do some blinking exercises. Let your face relax, close your eyes, squeeze a little bit, and open your eyes, relax. Now close your eyes, squeeze, open, relax. Let the shoulders relax, close, squeeze, open. Let your face relax, close, squeeze. Get those eyes closed, good, open. Relax, close, squeeze, good, open. Now go ahead and take your pointer finger and let's start massaging right in between your eyebrows, right where your nose meets your brow. Proceros muscle, or what some people call the third eye. Let's do some circular motions, good. Let your jaw relax even. Let your forehead relax. Let your scalp go your ears. When you're, when you're looking at screens, you want to take every 20 minutes, look somewhere else for a good 30 seconds or so, or get up, drink lots of water so it makes you get up and have to go to the bathroom. Good, let's go circular motions the other direction. so happy you're taking care of yourself. You can take your arms down, do two of these videos per day while you're looking to get yourself better. Otherwise, one a day is great. We'll see you on the next video.